What's up, guys? Welcome to the podcast. We're not ever going to do a podcast like this probably ever again. So this is the only podcast you're ever going to see from us on YouTube. If you're new here, you should sub- sub- subscribe. I'm not going to do an intro. Let's just start talking. What are we going to talk about today? Today, we're going to talk about some sneakers, some business stuff. We're honestly just going to, yeah, maybe we'll talk about the economic state of the world, uh, some poli- some political stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. What are we going to talk about? No, it's good. I mean, Today, we're at WAP. Oh, yeah. That, don't forget that's that. That's very important. We're at, currently at the WAP headquarters in New York City. Uh, we got flown out here to hang out with the Whoppers. Yeah, not many people yeah, have yeah. flown out here today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like it's super exclusive. exclusive. It's like a super exclusive thing. Like you have to do like millions of dollars in sales with them to be able to even be considered to get flown out. So, you know, we're, we're super high status with them. But Or $500 in oh. seven days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I guess... The main topic we should cover today is just talk. let's start with sneakers. We just that's that's something that we all started with sneaker. What what do we think about the sneaker market right now, Ethan? Oh, Ethan. Ethan. Um, it's different than it was when I started. So you do you you don't actually sell anymore, do you? No, but I like I like see everything. Still. Right. So, so based on when you first started to now, like, oh, okay, that's not that's a horrible question. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. Like, don't, don't, just be don't treat it like, like a video. Like, I'll see way different. It's no, We're not cutting it. anything. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm not cutting this. No, this is raw. It's so this raw. is as raw as it gets. Okay. All right. You're going to get us demonetized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like you, you started what? Like three years ago? Four years ago? Five yeah, years ago? Yeah, four. So, so is the main reason you stopped just because Sire? Just yeah, made? just I went all in on SAS. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, pretty much, I take them all in on SAS. Okay, and so talk about okay. So like, you have your good friends are like Kyle, Danny, people that are still bulk, like ex- yeah. insanely bulk. So, yeah. uh, for the people that don't know what bulk is, you're just gonna have to figure that out. Uh, how are people like Kyle and Danny still able to be so bulk in 2024? Because so, you know, so many people every day they're like, "Oh, sneakers are dead. Sell clothing instead. Buy my vendor links." Like, no, yeah, you know, like, how do you? I would say connections them? probably. Because, I mean, a lot of it's, like, in the – so, like, Danny does different. He's consignment, but he does, like, private consignment. I can't speak too much on it because I don't know everything. But, you know, it's connections he's had for years and established with the stores. And for wholesalers like Kyle, it's more like he's had the store connections and the seller connections forever. So even if he's only making a couple dollars per pair, he's moving high volume. So, like, I think it's either now people are just doing high volume, low margin, as back then, it used to be high volume, high margin. Like, yeah, like we would insane. buy Yeezys, get slides at 60, sell them at 200, and hit 1,000 pairs. That's, like, no no way possible now. Yeah, that was, so, that was an incredible time. I honestly think it's just harder for, like, it's not something, like, you could just start, like, by yourself, I feel like, and be, like, really profitable with now. I feel like you have to know people. Like, like if I was friends with Ethan, it'd be easier for me to start. Or, like, you know, if you, like, yeah. knew someone who worked at a store, it'd be easy to start. But I feel like right now you can't just kind of go in and it's not like you can loop shoes anymore on release days and stuff like that and that's a a lot of the connections that you built especially were from looping and being around those like environments too so it's like yeah philly and all that so i feel like right now what you got to do is just take advantage of like online because that's literally where we met and we met you know reselling discord four years ago 25 dollars a month yeah so i mean just pay 25 dollars a month that's where i met kyle Really? really? Yeah. Online? Yeah, through Twitter. But it was like through a group. Yeah. Drew Sneakers from forever ago. Yeah, see, the OGs I think, remember. Honestly, like, it, I already know. I, I can already see the comments coming. But, like, people hate so much on, like, online courses and communities. But, like, the reality is it puts you around so many other people. I mean, even us at WAP HQ, like, we're around <laughs> yeah. a bunch of, like. It's literally, like, the headquarters. It's literally headquarters of, of Whopper. It's, like, Whopper yeah. headquarters. Like, everyone, everyone here is selling. I mean, there's, we've met people that are selling. Air. Dating, <laughs> Lots of air. Dating, like there's a guy that's selling AI company. stuff, like construction company. Uh, so th- th- you can literally only can fans. Really sell yeah, I mean, I mean, they are, I actually think actually one of those guys. Like, I'm not so surprised. Actually does, like, like OFM <laughs> management, it's disgusting. But yeah, that's not you know he's a whopper. Yeah, yeah. You can that's like right. for free. Yeah, you can get into communities. Like you could literally yeah. go on Facebook right now, search up like sneaker resale, like for your area. And like I was literally helping, uh, like one a person that was in the UK and in the inner circle. Yeah. And like he was like, "Yo, like I don't know how to find uh, people in the UK that are resellers because like 
mainly like we work with us but mm -hmm. i literally like went through like, like hopped on facebook with them and it's just like i literally looked up sneaker resale uk and like four groups that you could just join with people listing shoes you know posting what they're buying store owners in there you can literally meet your business partner in yeah. There. yeah so it's like i mean if you're yeah you can't go to like a snipes right now in philly and like loop all around and like really be profitable but i mean if you can just get in like a group local to you that has resellers like or CNA also has a free Discord. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, no, I'm not link, trying. Link, I'm not trying to plug, but should link link in the description. So definitely check that out. Um, best free Discord. But uh, no, that's a, it's a good point because I think like a lot of people, the hardest thing about business, especially, is just getting connected with more people. Especially if you come from a place like us, like Bumble, where you're just like, yeah, <laughs> like like Knoxville, Tennessee, is like in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. Like it's it's a it's a college city. It's like there's just their college town, but there's not that many sneaker resellers. So you, yeah. you had a little bit more of an advantage coming from like PA, but people will join from like New Hampshire. Like who's in New Hampshire? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. So it's you like, met like most of your resale friends like online. Yeah, now all you're of like, them. like literally have like, you're in warehouses. No, yeah, stuff. literally. Yeah, no. Almost all my resale friends were like in New Jersey or like not in Michigan at least because there's like nobody there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, yeah, you came from Bumble. Too. Yeah, there's nobody. Yeah, so people always make that excuse. They're like, well, I live in Bumble. I can't, there's no, there's no sneaker stores here. Like what am I going to do? We all had that similar challenge. Just the too. online, now. Yeah, I mean, literally, DJ, like, you remember DJ Souls from, like, the events? Yeah, like, yeah. Dom? Yeah. Bro, like, he taught me, like, everything. Like, I didn't know how to get, I didn't know how to get shoes from Snipes. Like, I didn't know how to, like, loop, like, release day stuff and all that. And then, like, literally, I just started, like, coming on the trips with him to Philadelphia. And I started getting tapped in with people, stores, stuff like that. Yeah, and fast forward to now, sold millions. Like, it's yeah. just, it's just how, uh, it's literally how the it's all about community even some of the people we're meeting here like we're talking to people that are doing insane numbers in all different industries it doesn't even matter like what you're trying to do if you're just around people that have that kind of experience it's I mean, that's why net people always say your network is your it's like the, the corny yeah. little network is your net worth thing but it's true gang it is true it's true cool we can keep talking about sneakers or we can pivot i kind of want to like pivot into some like because we always talk about sneakers so i feel like it'd be funny <clears> to talk about some like not sneaker stuff like some just random topics but maybe not like too political because then we'll, we'll get like banned from youtube <laughs> i don't want to go too crazy i don't want to go too too crazy but um i don't know what do you guys think say do you want to be sued out to see the wop or the oh yeah <laughs> we gotta see the wop no no you don't have the wop doesn't have no, to be no, that's no. fine but it's this angle we'll see it no yeah that's fine the wop is the wop. incorporated in the Thing, so all right wait wait let's talk about the best cities to live in i was actually about to bring that up uh, that might be a good one same thing. that might be a good one <laughs> okay i'll start i'll start obviously so th my perspective on this has actually kind of changed i think the best city to live in isn't always like the best city to live in but let me explain all right so i think having a home base in the city that's like boring as hell and super affordable like my hometown's not it's really hard to spend a lot of money like 5k a month in knoxville is like you Bread. can get a really nice apartment like you could go out to eat often like you could live a pretty comfortable life go out to the bars if that's what you do and like you'd be comfortable you 5k in miami you're like you're probably on the street begging <laughs> for change you know what i mean but i think what i'm starting to like more i've always like found for me like, i like to try i mean i like to travel i like i like the uncomfortability of traveling i don't like being comfortable my house. Well, i like being in a city where i don't know anything and don't know anyone yeah. i work hard yeah like, like, like literally yeah <laughs> yeah it's literally it's literally a random wednesday i had a class this morning like we're just in we're I just yeah skip class. yeah we just skip class to be here like it's just a random it's a random but i literally am more wired to work when it's like the environments like this so like for me having a city like knoxville but just never being there having just the house to go back to after i think it's really cool because <clears throat> new york is like madness like literally from the minute i landed it's like dudes talking about like jerk offs and shit like that's how they talk i literally like i thought it was a meme like the whole like you fucking jerk off like i've seen this <laughs> on tiktok right i thought that was like a meme but literally oh, i was on the real. phone but there was a guy on the phone for like 30 minutes while we were waiting for the flight I guess he does like real estate or something. And he was like, oh, you a fucking jerk off. They're building all these fucking properties. And I forget where he was talking. I think he was talking about. Uh, in the Bronx. I don't know if it was the Bronx. He was talking about how they're building so much property. It's just random conversation. But like, um, there's so much madness in like a New York. Miami is like, I, I think Miami is like one of the best cities to live in. 
because it's just, just there's everything still there. madness but it's madness right yeah. so like coming back from that and even i was talking to cam munir he like runs a like agency they moved to scottsdale but he was telling me how like miami is awesome to live in but going and traveling all the time and then coming back to miami is like the worst thing because like it's just it's literally a city that like never shuts down never sleeps when you come back to knoxville after 10 p.m the entire like city the city is like lights off shut down completely so Having a home base where it's cheap and quiet and affordable and not much going on and then just having them and spending your money on just traveling instead, that's low-key what I think I'm probably going to spend most of the year doing. Because also there's that part of me that's like, I do want to move to like the Miami and just move out, go to the high rise, live that crazy life. But I'd much rather like retire my parents first, take care of them before moving out. It feels like deep down, Everyone that I've talked to that has moved to Miami that I actually respect or, or that's moved out that I've actually respected, not like these 21-year-old, like, <laughs> Hall of Fame, like, Supreme Master <laughs> Guru, <laughs> like, actual business people that I respect, their parents were taken care of. They bought their parents a car or a house or something before, and then they moved out. So um, my mentality switched, though, because, like, three months ago, I was ready to sign a lease and get the hell out of Knoxville because it's just so boring. Yeah. So I think it's better to just pivot around. But my if I had to pick a city that – is the best it's it brickle miami environment's crazy out of all the cities yeah. that i've been to and i've been to a lot i want to see Chicago. austin those yeah. guys were talking about austin like crazy I wanna, I wanna visit, like visit i went yeah. there last summer for like two days i got my dad like for uh father's day like i t- surprised him with comedy or the joe rogan comedy club and we went there but it was like 120 like it was so hot but yeah. i don't know that's the thing about austin though because like from like a weather perspective texas is is very similar to Miami, but it's just like eh. Miami's like on the water hot. though. Miami's the on thing. the water, so it's so like you, not you, as bad. You get the nice like breeze. You don't it's get like that. 90. Texas is like hot, dry air. Yeah, it's bad. You know what I mean? Miami's more like you get the nice breezes, and I think during the summer everywhere kind of sucks. Like except for Chicago. Chicago in the summer is like the best city in the world. Or New York. Yeah, New York. It's like the same somewhere. weather. Same yeah, weather. Yeah, it's, it's it's beautiful. But, like, but I think the the the, the, mo- the most hybrid model is you just live. You gotta live in like two places. You live in like you got a place yeah. in Miami. You got a place in Chicago or something. You just go back and forth between when it but gets like, too cold in like Chicago, you leave. Yeah, I'm always traveling though. Like yeah. I, I wouldn't even go to two houses. I feel like I don't know. That's why I just I think the same it doesn't thing, make but it's so yeah. bread. Like you might as well. It's cheaper to just travel all the time than to have two apartments. Like Especially it really with is. Credit card points. Like bro, yeah. Like furnishing apartments is yeah. expensive. Like. Like, it's, like, 10K, like, 15K, like, up front. Plus, you're going to have to pay security deposit, first month rent, and, like, the agent fee half the time. Like if your rent's 5K, they charge you for all three. So, 15K plus another 10K for furnishing. 25K up front. Like, per apartment, though. Like, that's bread. Like, when you could just travel. Like, if you travel smart, you could fly Spirit for, like, 130 with points. So, it's already free. Hotel, like... <laughs> 200 a night <laughs> like 200 a night you go with your boy and split 100 bucks per which is free but anyways if you run an inventory points. based business and you put money on credit cards like no it's yeah everything uh, even even business yeah. class flights are cheap like i'm looking right now for my parents they're trying to go to jordan right like i found uh yes this morning like sixty thousand amex points plus a hundred dollars cash business class to uh, jordan in the middle east that's like in, in reality, 60,000 points is like if you just spent $60,000 on a card with no bonuses, but on American Express Gold, like on food, mm-hmm. it's like 4X bonus on restaurants. Well, you know what? Chase Sapphire Reserve, my banker just called me, it's 50% increase with points with, with Chase Travel, which is insane. Yeah. So your points are double. Yeah, yeah. Literally. I like, mean, <laughs> that's it, insane. Capital One gives you like 10X on hotels or flights. So like, you really don't even have to spend, you could spend 10K. Which is still for a lot of people a pretty good amount of money, but no, think no, about no, it. no, it's five percent back on on like whatever, at least for my shipping and stuff. But then with those points, you get a fifty percent increase, so it's ten percent back. I mean, like for you, it's free. No, but I think for any, not, any, any not, no, 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 for like anything, but think any about business, the, think if about you the buy the right that cards, have a business though, the person that's just like is a regular like lifestyle that oh, just spends oh, yeah. like two k a month. You know well, what I mean? Depends, like, where you're I'm saying if you have a business. Yeah, because that also depends yeah. if you could live yeah. like for where me, you could live. Like honestly, I feel like I don't even care about the location as much where I live. Like, I care more about like the people. Like, yeah. I feel yeah. like I'm gonna be one of the last people to probably move out because like you're graduating December. You're probably gonna you know move once your lease goes up or whatever and see that, and then other people. Brickle. Yeah. So I feel like like I just want to move like where like I can like go around people and like talk business because like that's so rare. Like I go no, to like yeah. University of Delaware. I go to <laughs> <Costa>. <laughs> 
So it's like there's only Bubble a select tell. few people that like no, you're yeah. gonna actually be able to you know relate to and be able to like learn from. Like when we went to Tennessee, um, with like all the the operators, okay, um, yeah. and all that, it's like you're able to learn so much just from like talking to people. So like for me, like I don't give a fuck if it's like Florida, Texas, like from no, yeah, New you York, gotta be around Boston. it. I just That's think the when biggest you find thing. the most it's so overall, hard to find that though. Like, when you find the most well-rounded overall place, when you factor in like everything that it just also depends what matters to you. Like for me, I don't know. Like I, new, I, I think New New York, New Jersey life is cool, but like the taxes are way higher here. Income tax is way yeah. higher. There's no income tax in Tennessee or Florida. Yeah, uh, yeah. Also, like you can't like like gun laws are like insanely like, like yeah, yeah I, you I, can't I'm, do anything. I'm, I'm Tennessean, right? I got I yeah. be able to like go shoot a gun or carry a gun on me, but. <laughs> Like, what ops do you have? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, got, I got no ops. I got no ops. It's just like Second Amendment, bro. Gotta 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 protect my Second Amendment right. You know what I'm saying? But you can't like in New York, that. like they I don't, don't even know if you can get a gun here. You can't carry one. No, it, bro, in Tennessee, you don't have to have a permit to carry a gun concealed. You just have to be twenty one. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, actually? Yeah, there's no No way. You can do that in PA too, I think. Concealed carry no with no way. permit? You no way. With you an ID? No, you can buy it, but you can't carry I'm talking about you can walk into public places carrying it. You need a holster, I think. Yeah, you need a holster, well, but there's like, you don't need a like, permit, though. In Tennessee, bro, you don't, don't need a permit. Know. All I know is, like, one, I don't know. I feel like, I you know, it's like, it's like insane, insane in Tennessee, but, like, think about it. Tennessee is, like, the last place that you would want to, like, commit a public crime because everyone's carrying yeah, a Yeah, everyone's got guns. Like, the last place, like, not, like, I'm not even going to, like, say what I was about to say because I was, I was going on a crazy, like, <laughs> 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 but <laughs> if I were to commit a crime, hypothetically, <laughs> I would not do it in Tennessee because I guarantee you somebody in the growth, bro, the women be carrying straps. Like, you're just not. Nah. I swear, bro. bro <laughs> in Tennessee. If you, if you put your hands on a woman in a grocery store, Gum she out. might, she might. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we can't make it. Come on, we can't make it. No, like, no, it was crazy because we, uh, yeah, Danny was like shocked. We went to Bucky's like two hours away from Tennessee. Oh, Every, t- the Tennessee like in loyalty atmosphere and loyalty. It's I've not seen. I, I haven't been to many like college games in other schools, but Dude, it's like it's, next yeah, level. Yeah, bro, it's definitely insane. We're, it's I don't like think next Penn level. State, it's probably similar. Like the football. Yeah, I think Penn State. Like Penn Nashville, State they're wearing orange. Like they're yeah. wearing it all across the state, yeah. and, and everyone's got it on. Like everywhere you go, yeah. it's like orange. Just like how what they like. Yeah, because they got nothing it's else wop. to do. Wop's normally orange, bro. Today's. It's green like cash. Yeah. Wop-y. Yeah, dude. No, but going. Yeah, I, I think your point makes a lot of sense. Like it's it's all about at the end of the day. I think that's why having a home base somewhere where it's cheap and just moving around also makes sense because like you can go to all these places and see all these different people all the time. The reason I feel like I'm decent at like, the reason I can come to an event like this and just easily start a conversation and like have so many mutuals with random people I've never met is because I've gone to like so many different places. Right. So uh, even some of the times where it didn't make financial sense, like there was a, I went to that like Amazon United event, like a a year ago, two years ago, where I met a lot of the guys that do Amazon and like are in e-com. A lot of them don't even sell on Amazon. There was actually a couple of wholesale distributors there that were just cool guys. But these dudes, bro, I spent like $600 to rent uh, like a a rundown like Honda because it's like the only car on Turo that I could rent. Yeah, yeah, I got scammed. For a day? For two days. For all Young renter's fee was like $250 a day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I wasn't even 18. I was 17. I think Fake no, ID. no, that's not right. Fake ID. <laughs> no, this was. I was nineteen. I was like, yeah, I, I don't, I'm tripping. I was nineteen, but until you turn twenty, yeah. you don't get like the the next yeah, tier of like so discounts, whatever. So, like, the dude just completely waxed me. Like some Jersey guy just waxed the hell out of me. But I I had to pay it because I had no way of getting back and forth. But that that event cost me so much money. But just the people that I met, I'm still boys with a lot of them now. Surtec now, like he. The accountant that we yeah. that, that's like his firm. So we got a really good price on that, locked in for life. That and so in the long run it ended up saving me a lot more money. And I think a lot of people need to understand that with networking, with traveling, in the short term you're probably gonna lose on paper, but the long term partnerships are what make the most but I mean, think about if we had never I mean we met you online, right? Yeah. So yeah. if we had never if if me and Aiden were like, well, Sneaker events aren't worth going to, too expensive. Yeah. And yeah. we would have never met you. We would have never exactly. met half of our suppliers. We would have never met Sonny. Like, there's so many people that we met just because we weren't afraid to spend. We we spent 1500 on a trip or 2000 on a trip and, like, got no actual direct return from it off the bat, but then got good content and got and met good people. 
I think that's the most yeah. valuable thing you can do. I think you got to do that, but you also, before you do that, I feel like you have to, like, start something, you know? I feel like you have to have go, a reason to go. Yeah, yeah. Like, like if you go to, like, a sneaker event and you, like, okay, let's say you want to become a sneaker yourself, right? And you come to a sneaker event and you, like, you know they resold sneakers and you just start going up to, like, people and just, like, hey, like, can you help me? Like, You're I just feel, asking low-level yeah, questions. I feel like in order to, like, networking, in my opinion, almost is, like, like ne- regular network events, I almost, like, don't like it because it's, like, it's everybody just like looks the same and it's like doing the same stuff. I feel like you gotta bring you gotta bring some form of value if you wanna be able to network. Like I wouldn't like if we you know, if we like started doing a lot of business from like promoting sire in our group and stuff like that and like being able to have like a, a beneficial like yeah. business relationship. I feel like you gotta be able to bring something to the table too. That's know? a good point, because like at the end of the day, no one really wants to like a millionaire is not going to be friends with some like jank dude on the street, yeah. right? So like, yeah, it all. I, I think that's a good point that I, I'll, I'll kind of like touch on more too. I think if you work on yourself first and you mm-hmm. increase your own value, it makes it a lot easier to network with people that are valuable because now it's super valuable people networking with more super valuable people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why'd you so. reach out to me? Because I, I had a bunch of sneakers. Right, and 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 to, and to be fair, we were we weren't you weren't like super super far ahead yeah. of me, right? Like you were a little bit ahead yeah. of me, but like you weren't ahead of me to the point where it's like you were doing tens of thousands of dollars yeah. a day, you know. But you just it, asked the question. Like, right. It's like, I feel like, if, but if you if you like were like a bot, first of all, too, you have to be a. Fucking, <laughs> there's so many people that are just like weirdos, bro. Like that's the yeah. Thing they ask like the creepiest like, bro, questions. Like, if you we need a social. Into, we need like, like a bro, social bro, skills offer. Bro, like, I, like, yeah, I'm, bro. Bro. I'm in like your DMs on your account because obviously like that's how you know we're getting people in the inner circle. But it's like, bro, there are people that will come to me and just like. Hey, can I buy a shoe? I'm like, what are you talking bro, about? Bro, I get them all the time. It's like, <laughs> like, hey, bro, do you have bulk for sale? Yeah. And they have like three followers. I'm like, bro, yeah. I'm not answering. It's like, that. you gotta like, break, you gotta like, not be a bot. Yeah, especially. Is that even a real person though? What? That says that shit with like three followers? No, it's followers. real people. No, but there's real people that will like, slide in your, like, for example, like, there's people that hit us up, like, at, saying like, oh, like, I can provide you with like a, some sort of like, bot in the Discord or like, a services thing. Like, someone hit me up the other day, um, uh, for like monitors like certain type of monitors for sites and like bro there's a million different monitor people that you can go they do to. absolutely and nothing they to distinguish the same, themselves they yeah. send the same paragraph to you like hey i provide this this and this you know you know i'd much rather you be like hey like i have an idea that might be able to help your discord or something you know would you mind giving them a call like here's my previous work like i feel like you got to be able to you know actually seem like a real person and not just send like a copy and paste paragraph like hey like i do this i think it could be helpful for you peace a lot of it too is like, and I know this is something that you're kind of working on now too, like the personal brand, right? Like how you actually look on social. If you're reaching out to people on social and you have no post, a private account, like yeah. you don't look like you really do anything of value or like anything fun at all, it's a lot harder for people to trust you. So like the reason I post a lot of like my travel stuff, it's not really related to sneakers, but shows like the other side. And the reason we're doing this also is just to show people that we're not... Yeah. Just like sneaker, like we're, just, bo- like we're, we're not just like yapping. we're not like actual sneaker nerds, like the vast yeah. majority. Like we actually, it's funny because in the I was editing the the vlog from the other day, like yeah. finishing that up, and there was like that clip where you were like, "We're getting Zayn out of the house today." He was like, "Zayn's finally touching some grass." <laughs> so no, but it's like the you know you you have to actually to have a good like social media profile and to look cool on social. You have to actually like. Be cool and do stuff. So if you like, never leave your house, or like, you never, or like, do not anything. just show like one part of yourself. Like right. show like what you really are. Yeah, like there's yeah. Fucking, like a transparent like, view. Like the gym bros, people, bro. Like the people that like like they, the gym is their entire life. No, like, yeah, but like, you know that's like, only like an hour or two of their day, and then yeah. the rest of the day they're doing something else. Yeah, like, I think that's so what's really. Like, I think they're starting to become a switch though. There's there's a there's a there's a transition now between. Because everyone's starting a personal brand, but there's a transition between the people that are actually doing well with it and not. Because now people are starting to sniff out like, okay, this guy's just faking to sell me something or faking for the sake of just faking. So I think at this point, you can continue to play the fake game and you'll just fizzle out eventually. But if you want to play the long game and actually build something of value and actually help people, you have to literally just tell the truth about everything you do and like actually show your real life. And so um, like even for me, I'm trying to figure out how to like better encapsulate the other areas of my life into video it's not that i have a problem like telling what i do but it's like putting it into video can sometimes be a little tough but yeah like that that is so important to like actually show the other areas of your life because like and uh, you know alhamdulillah i think i live a pretty good life like i travel quite a bit i mean i I sell fucking shoes for a living and help people sell shoes so it's like yeah uh yeah it's, it's a pretty cool experience and 
got a lot of cool stuff planned, uh, like, you know, for next year when I graduate too. So it'll be cool to show a lot off, but yeah, transparent. If you're not transparent nowadays, like you're just, people see right through it, you know? Right. I think people want to see like, as if like there's a hidden camera guy behind you yeah. like all day. Yeah. And then you cut the parts of like, this is what you want to show that's entertaining. But like that type of style where it's like, you're not even like setting it up. Like you're looking at a camera, like you're filming, you know, it's just there. Yeah. Like that style I feel like is what's going to go for the future. Like in my opinion, at least. And then people kind of like get to tap into like your life, like mm -hmm. through their phone. And it's like a story itself. Like that's what I think at least. For like social media stuff. We should call this fun. emergency meeting. Like, yeah, it. It. It's like, you guys ever watch like those? Oh yeah, the, the ones we watched meeting? in the car. Just like smoking. Guess who's texting me? Nyan. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure he DM'd us on DNA. And was, you DM'd him my personal account. Oh like, yeah, you were supposed to bring him. Up. He wants to like sell sire like someone that I don't know. Yeah. You were yeah. talking about this thing is super unstable. The like with you, it's like. I'm just stuck. Right over to him, it like falls this way. It's just a I tripod. It's kind of crab. Just make sure it doesn't. The camera might That's actually slide off. Did, the yeah, slide yeah, yeah, just be careful because it's not it's like. like just under. It's like not latched on there super well. We're using a jank tripod. I should have brought my tripod. The one time I don't bring my tripod, I bring my tripod every time we never use it. And the one time we can actually use it, it's like. <laughs> well, who knew we'd be in fucking the WAP studio? <laughs> yeah, like, I didn't even know they had no, this. Like. They're so laid back. Like, I don't, you don't yeah. even work. Bro, here. like, I don't even have a WAP yeah. course, nothing. Like, they just show you. <laughs> don't even care. To Shout be fair, we've WAP. been with WAP for, like, years. Though. Yeah. We're, we're OG WAPers. Like, we were, yeah. this is, we were, we were on WAP since before WAP was, like, like trending. Actually profitable. Yeah. yeah, like, I'm pretty sure, like, they. Before they had all of this shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, now we're in, like, this insane. I'll, we probably I'll were with a, them before they even had this off. Well, remember, do you remember Hyper? You remember yeah. Hyper? Yeah, Hyper oh, yeah. used to be like the actual go-to. They, I think, yeah, I, they, right. I think they bought out Hyper or uh, Hyper like went out of business or something. But like they went out, of they business? weren't even, uh, yeah, they, were they huge. weren't even, they weren't even top. They weren't even WAP wasn't even the top at one point. Yeah, I remember everyone used Hyper for like reselling courses. Yeah, but then like I think I, I think what's cool now though, and like kind of what we're they were showing us earlier, we can't really talk too much about it. But like they. Uh, <sighs> I just think it's cool. They're they're trying. It just seems like they've been trying with these last few updates to weed out Discord from. Yeah, yeah. They're that's that's kind of the biggest takeaway. They based on what They were showing it's just like they want to become the destination because like, you think about like school, school. You don't use Discord with school. Yeah. You just use school. That's yeah. The, that's the payment processor. That's the course processor. That's everything. WAP is like you use WAP, but then you also have to use Discord to actually host your community yeah. or you use like a WhatsApp mean, group or Telegram. A lot of these guys don't actually use Discord though. I was talking to some of them. They use sure, WhatsApp or just know. Telegram. So a lot of their problems with like messaging and stuff, we just solve it with our oh, WhatsApp Oh, when group. I asked, I was like, yeah. why would somebody message? I think it's a lot to compare. It depends on what you do. Like for us, it's like yeah. we have like buyer lists, store lists. Like we have brick links that need to be posted. Like there's releases, there's, you know, trending SKU lists. Like, I feel like it depends. Like I feel like if we were trying to do all of that on something like well, depending on what they did, obviously, like they did some crazy shit where it's like they had all those categories. Yeah. That would be cool. But I like I just don't see that anytime soon where it's gonna work for like something like you know sneaker reselling. I don't know. They got they got like twenty guys and they they're got just nonstop head of all day product. till two a.m. Apparently they stay here till like three a.m. Just grind. three a.m. One thing here at five. Is, yeah, they don't they're, sleep. They're grinders. They're just so. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they do. But they have, no, I've never in my life seen a. An egg boil. They have an egg bo hard boiling egg machine. It's literally designed. It has like slots for the eggs, and you put yeah, the I eggs in it, it and it hard it. boils the eggs That's perfectly. Insane. I've never I'm seen it in my if life. I, if I worked here, I'd probably be fat as fuck. Because they have like snacks on like everywhere. On, like, <laughs> it's like an every yeah, and it's just like unlimited. It's like every time yeah, you go, if, I, if I had like a normal job, I would work here. Someone oh, has so chill. Man. Someone has to be like replenishing. The, the it's drinks constantly. There's I, literally, I looked at, like before we went to a little thingamajing, like the lecture. The fridge? Like, the fridge was not that stacked. Hey, bro, I, we're we're I went in the stacked. fridge. I got chocolate milk. Yeah, I guarantee. Yeah, so did I. And I got, I got one of these. Yeah. We're sitting in the. And it's like the big one. Bro, we're sitting in the presentation room. Look behind me, and there's just like snacks and drinks. And yeah, the poppy thing. I, yeah, there. it took the root beer thing. Yeah. I started a trend, Eric. Remember that? Everyone was like grabbing a bev after us. Speaking of bed, we need to figure out where we're gonna eat tonight. We uh, we we could eat at that rooftop place, but I did I a, a New York a, a New place. York native sent me a bunch of uh, you know Ashraf remember Ashraf right? Yeah, sure, yeah. He used to live in the Bronx. Yeah, I remember he sent us the list. I don't know if he lived in the Bronx. He said when we when we came here like a month ago for the, 
Yeah. yeah, he sent me places for uh, Brooklyn though, and it's like it's like there's some Arab places, there's some like Chinese places. No, I'll I think I think places. what we should do though, we should uh, we should like go eat there and then like when we go chill, go to I the think rooftop. We chill at the rooftop. That'd be fire. Acquire yeah. some. Uh, yeah, if we got some cigars too, that'd be fire. Cigar a little bit. Are we going to? Are you still going to the UFC thing in Vegas or no? No one wants to come. When is it? It's like tomorrow, right? Like it's late tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like no, like Saturday. <laughs> I would still go, but I would want to go with like three other people or something. Everyone's too scared. Everyone's too little to go. I don't know why. My dad wanted to go to Vegas for my birthday on twenty first, but it's not like we can do. It's not like we can do anything. No, no yeah. yeah it's like yeah, no, yeah. I literally like we don't drink. We don't. We don't really do anything. We don't go out to the club. Like what are we gonna do? Well, I mean, we could, you're I mean, <laughs> we could bring the strippers to your hotel. <laughs> yeah, should we order them tonight? Yeah, that's oh insane. My God. We dabble. Okay, we'll dabble every now and then. <laughs> I think everyone has to dabble at some point in their life. Zane is a drug addict, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the inner circle, you know. People are going to actually like think that I do drugs now. Like, they're they're going to like, be speculating. <laughs> you literally I mean... <laughs> Just trying to fit into the New York lifestyle. Yeah, let's not talk about what we saw at that pizza shop earlier. We can't. We can't say that on camera. But oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to talk about. It's like so weird. Yo, how long have we been here? I think we've been. We've been going for a little minute. Right? It's like weird. It's like not natural. <laughs> like at, we're all like sitting this way. Like we have to turn our whole body. <laughs> I'm like, like, like. Yeah, it's weird. We should just turn like this. <laughs> Seth guys <laughs> you want to cuddle to be honest we could call it here I mean uh, we haven't been right for like 30 minutes nah you gotta keep going have you been recording this whole time yeah. there should be a timer on there right 32 yeah it's weird it's gotta be at least four and a half hours guys <laughs> <laughs> the footage though is so crooked I have no idea I just fixed it it's like, fine. no, it's but fine. at the end, though, like, at the beginning, it was fine, and then it started to, like... You're fired. <laughs> Get out. No, it, it's, it's not that bad. It would be, like, you'd be, like, perfect, then I'd move Ethan, and the camera would, like, go and curse. Okay, how about we, we ended up with this? We could just talk about... <coughs> I don't know. Let's just talk about, like, our goals for the next year or so. Something that's just, like, gives people some insight into, like, what, you know, what's in our head, like, what our plans are for the next few months. Okay, I'll, just, I'll go first. I, I'll kind of set the tone. Unless you got something. Okay. You look like you're ready to burst no. with knowledge. Okay. No? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be pretty calm until uh, graduation. I think I gradu- graduation is like December 13th. After that, I'm free from the, the Matrix controlled system. Um, the chains are broken. The goal is to just run up ZNA, become the best. I mean, we already are the best, but become the biggest and the best sneaker community. Help way more people. Because here's the thing. Like, at this point, like, so many people have just given us good feedback about it. Like, I know that what we do is helping people, and it's, like, working. Not enough people are seeing it, though. So that's the problem we're going to fix. We're going to get more people to see it. More people are going to go through it and make more money. So we're going to keep doing that. And, I mean, after after college, I, just, I think I just want to travel more That and not for – like just for the sake of like going to an event, like actually go and like explore a little bit. Definitely want to shred, snowboard a lot this year. I bought an Epic Pass. Um, it's like the yeah, yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's like the pass for uh, for Colorado and for Colorado, Utah. I think Japan. They too, work in I'm Michigan. Not going, I'm not going yeah. to Japan. It's like insane. <laughs> I would do that. I mean, I'll go to Japan when I'm like nice with it though. I can't like you know. <laughs> You're gonna like die. If you like, fall <laughs> off a cliff there. <laughs> do they even have like nine one one? <laughs> like can you even call bro you know i was so scared when i was in africa bro i was like if i like like fall and like break my leg like is there like cops is there, there's no like cops, <laughs> there cops? Bro. there's no like ambulance cops. like do you call 911 okay i don't know it's probably like a different number bro is it like completely yeah. different there like bro the roads and, like, bro like it's all like one lane and people like you know so what we should like, do we should go to jordan like together because that's where my that's where all my family's at and like my like my uh 
I'm like, going to like Dubai. I'm going to Dubai. Yeah, Dubai is not like yeah. Jordan though. It's not close. Du- no, no. I mean, it's close. It's actually it's only two saying. hours away, three hours away. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Can when are you just, going? I don't know. Whatever. My developer just moved there, so That's I'm gonna right. go. I've, Dubai is actually really nice. Dubai is more like it's becoming less like super. It's not like super Arab though. You know? Yeah, it's more like modern now. It's like now like everyone's, everyone's just like moving traveling. to Dubai because there's no taxes there and it's like cool. But like Jordan, you go to Jordan, it's not like people don't move to Jordan to live there. It's like, yeah. like you, you're That's there local. because you're born Jordanian. Locals. Yeah, so it, it's a big tourist place because there's like nice things it's to see. Place? Yeah, Petro is like one of the seven wonders of the world. Super nice, oh, like yeah. sculptures and stuff. It's, there's places you can go, but like Bro, the city where I'm from, go? they, they <laughs> run so fast. You ever been on the camera or no? No, I saw Bro, it's driving. insane. They get up on like two yeah, feet. Yeah, and yeah. You're like yeah. about to fall off. Wait, and they get up like on the, on the other oh, two feet. They stand on two feet. Which camels were you riding? You were riding some fake ass camels. What do you mean? The camels get up on two feet first, and you're there. You're like halfway. Like you're about to fall off, and then they stand up on the other two feet. They stand up on two feet at a time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They go boom, 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 and they go. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> like, yeah, like, something yeah. like that, yeah. 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 I'm so confused. I thought they just, like, walked on all fours. No, but if you guys, honestly, we should do this after you graduate. <laughs> maybe, like giraffes. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> Next summer break, or, or maybe when you graduate, we should go and do this. Like, if we go to Jordan, we'll, you'll ride. Not This is not, like, the touristy camels. These are, like, actual camels that people just, like, ride. Like, I'm talking these kids have, like, pet camels. No, just, like, yeah. I saw it in Africa. These so kids, like, like, they're, it's like, like hitting the camel and <laughs> shit. They had it on a leash around their nose. It's yeah, crazy. Bro, it's like, like, it, hurt it's, so it's like sketch. It's like sketch. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how I that's like, like it. like the though. real experience. Bro, I told my uh, developer when I went to Tunisia, I was like, I want to go to the hood. Like, show me the Africa hood. <laughs> and go. we went to the hood. What is it like? Bro, like, the thing is known as guns, so it's not even scary. Yeah, it's like, like, can't do shit. It's like, a, it's like such an American like thing. Spears? Yeah. No, they just have, like, knives, and they, like, it's rob nice. you, but, like, they're never going to, like, rob you as long as you keep your distance. Like, in all those countries, like, they can't, they have no guns, so they can't really do anything. But they're also most of the time. It's not like Chirac. Like they're not just gonna like attack you for no. Reason, yeah, you know I mean? well, like, they might rob you, bro. Depends. I stood out like crazy there, oh, bro. Bro, I bet. Like yeah, it like was only all, white guy yeah, there. yeah, yeah. It was bad. Yes, what do they speak? Arabic. Arabic. All oh, of really? them are Arabic. Tunisia, they speak oh, Arabic. Shit. So you could go. It's to pretty Africa. much like the Middle East, like Tunisia. But here's the thing about Arabic: in every single one of these countries, it's like the dialects, like Moroccan Arabic. Oh, they also like speak impact. French. Yeah, they Morocco too. French. Morocco and Tunisia, they're up in Africa. Yeah. They're like, they're so close to France that it's like. Yeah, it was a lot of France and like, yeah. No, but the, the definitely, uh, that's definitely something I want to do more. Like, use all those credit card points, travel more to different countries, snowboard a lot. There's actually a UTK, like, snowboarding trip. It's, it's pretty cool. Really? Um, I'm probably going to go on that. It's like January 12th. But, um,. Yeah, we're just like going for like seven days snowboarding with a bunch of like call up kids. Like I, it's yeah, gonna be insane. Yeah. Like fifty people. That's sick. Um, but they ran out of spots. I've been trying to get a spot. Oh really? Why yeah. you can't just like pull up? No. Well, if you if you just pull up, it's like six k. Versus like, what? It, versus like fourteen hundred. <coughs> oh whole trip. shit. Yeah, because six days. It's six days of snowboarding at at, at Steamboat in Colorado. It's like oh yeah, that's it's not it's not cheap. yeah, that stuff's expensive. But they give you all these student discounts, and you go as a group, and they get they discount lodging. You're sharing lodging with everyone. All foods included, everything. So we'll see. But like just doing more stuff like that. Cause school now, it's like it's just so like dumb. Like school's just so dumb. Yeah, it's just so like it's especially if you're doing business. Business. I honestly really like I, I feel genuinely concerned for the people that don't like that actually just go to school to study like like I'm studying marketing. No offense to the marketing majors out there, but honestly, I honestly feel like the only like business major that's actually like credible is like finance. Or no supply chain. We too. learn about like taxes and stuff that or like the law. Finance is that's like valid. That, I mean for business wise, like law is different. Like, like you teach supply chain. No, I'm saying law. Like, if you understand good. business and tax law, it's useful. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you know all of the I mean laws. that guy out there is he's like a CPA and he's like yeah. Lodging. That's the, that's the only job I would do because I know so many entrepreneur people now. Even for us, like we would probably we who knows we're probably overpaying for accounting stuff. We don't we wouldn't we don't even know. Like there's, I know people that pay a thousand a month and they think that they're getting a steal. Yeah, no one really understands that space. Like, like, no no people, one understands yeah, yeah, exactly. the space. Yeah, like, it's a weird space. Really yeah, we know someone that that doesn't even make hundred k a year. That's paying a lot. Actually, he probably I think he makes a little bit. More. He makes six figures, but like barely. <laughs> but he, but he's paying but he's paying like a good amount to taxes. But it's like who uh, you know. He doesn't know any better because like they don't that information's not out there. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> so it's like that's one of those fields where you can kind of go. You can get a <laughs> it's like it's like shipping. And, like, I honestly like really that. wanted to do supply chain. I think logistics is super cool, like, especially like overseas logistics, like importing, exporting containers and stuff. But 
UT wanted me to do an internship. Remember, I remember the internship talk that you had. Like, you're, like you're, there was like a time where your your parents were like yeah. on you about that, but like I did not want to do an internship. That was like a no no for me. But you, you can't graduate unless you get one. So I was like, okay, which one do it, which one does not have an internship? The only one that I could do with not with no internship requirement was fucking marketing. So so I'm doing marketing. <laughs> That's really how I picked my major. <laughs> Because the internship, you just have to work for free, right? Like, it's well, like, it's you, like you, can, you can get paid, but you have to, like, show, it's 40 hours a week. Oh, it's like a full-time well, job? Yeah, it's yeah, like, wait, you, for the whole year? For the whole no, summer. summer. Oh. Oh. Which thing about it's how much money like, you lose. You, if you, yeah, get you lose job, so much. It's basically, like, if you're trying to get a job at that company, then, like, you want to intern with them. So, like, well, I understand yeah. why they do it. It's yeah. like, even the way that they talk in college, it's like, oh, we're preparing you for the workforce. When you go to the workforce, yeah. when you go get a job, yeah. it's not, they're not, they're, there's no, even the entrepreneurship classes, oh my, I swear bro. to God. Bro, don't even get me started, bro. <laughs> I know someone that's studying to get their PhD in entrepreneurship. Bro, so that's <laughs> so like a degree, I dude. take entrepreneurship colleges or classes at my college because they are retarded. Like, you, literally, bro, you have to take leadership tests. To figure out what type of leader you are and then you reflect on it but it's an easy a so i do it because it's like fuck that you might as well but all the professors like studied entrepreneurship for 10 years and i'm like how can and you never started it? a business that's how like, can you study like mine never like mine never started a business i mean look it was cool because i like got some refresher on like the, no. the technical stuff like s corp and all but the reality is Dang. you're paying two to three thousand dollars for these classes each at the bare minimum if you're getting good scholarships in state if you, I know people that are paying fifteen thousand dollars a semester. Oh, and, bro! I know people that pay like forty. Yeah, bro, people go yeah. to like Villanova and shit. And <laughs> yeah, pay like dude. Forty to forty a semester. Which look, I think it it really just depends. Like, if you go to a prestigious school, if you go to a UT to study supply chain, you'll be completely fine if you go into debt for it because you're gonna get you'll get a high paying yeah, six figure job. Yeah, it's like if you're going to like NYU and want to be a doctor or something like that. Like yeah, that's, that's, that's good. good. But it's like if you're going to university, just like people that are like studying art or communication. Most people don't even know what to college. do though. Bro, I know a girl studying like fashion design. Like, <laughs> but, it, but there's nothing wrong with She's that. She's gonna be like a fiver. But, <laughs> but like, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. But the, the reality is, if it's not from like a good enough school, it doesn't really help her. Like Virgil. Virgil studied all these. Virgil has like seven degrees, like a bunch of degrees. But Virgil's also an insane designer. You right? also just have to do it. You have to like love it enough to like do it when you're like not like if you're going. I think if you're going for the sake of pursuing it at a high level and you have a plan to pursue, because like as much as people want to say money doesn't matter, that's that's stupid. If you don't have money, you have no freedom. Yeah, so. because like I mean, think about what we do. Like we, the reason we're able to literally, we're on our. It's literally a Wednesday. Like it's a it's a random Wednesday. We have the we have the location and the time freedom because we can run this from wherever. We wouldn't be able to be here, and we also have the financial freedom. Otherwise, we wouldn't be. Able, I mean, we didn't really pay for the location here, but we could have. Right? <laughs> Shout out to Walt. Go, go. Subscribe. Well, even they are in your business, they allow it. You know, so it adds to it. Yeah. So I just think like, I would much rather make sixty thousand dollars a year and have control of everything and make 200 and be working 50 hours a week at yeah. a place i don't like with you know? no growth either really there's no there's like you're growing the company business. but you have no like people comment on my ads all the time they're like yo 4k a month i'll just i'll just work a job bro i'll just work a regular job but like the thing that they fail to realize the thing that they fail to realize is these people that are making 4k a month even though it's not a crazy amount it's a good amount to be making off of shoes like when you're first school. starting and when you're in school yeah but also it's scalable you're not limited to 4K. And month. you're learning real you skills on 10. your own. Yeah. yeah. You could take it to 10 plus if you wanted to. You could take it to 100 if you if you scaled to that point. There's people you're that have done learn, that. Make, it, make 2K a month starting reselling or whatever. Or making like 4K a month working at a restaurant as a server. Like I think it's much better to, you know. Yeah, because if you have a own. job, you're working within a, a system that's yeah. been if automated. If you're built like that, though, you'll, you'll make, like, I think if I was a server, I'd be an exceptional server. Because I would just figure out how to, how to, I would go to a high-end restaurant. I'd figure out how to talk to people the right way to get them to tip me more. And I would just run it up. So I think, like, no matter where you get thrown in, it all boils down to how bad, like, you're willing to make do of your situation. That's, like, another big thing I hear all the time. People are always complaining about the situation that they're in. But, like. To some degree, it's not always your fault, the situation that you're in. Like, you could have been born into a bad situation. It, but like, it's all your fault, you're making your own decisions. And that's exactly what we started doing and why we've yeah. been making a lot more money. If you think about it, like, if you're like, I'm broke, I have no friends, I, you know, I have nothing. There's a reason but, for that, though. There's a reason. Like, if you have no friends, it's because of you and no one else. You don't know how to talk to people. Go yeah. out and learn if how to talk If you have no people. money, it's because you have no skills and you can't, you know, you're not trying anything. So if you, like, yeah, obviously, like, people grow up in rough situations and stuff like that, but... 
I mean, there's always a way to get out of it. If you don't, it's your fault. Yeah. I mean, also, I just think accepting the fact that mentality is so important. I've still been doing that alchemy of self thing, like yeah, with Sam Ovens. Yeah, like that thing honestly has changed. Like I start to like subconsciously think positively about things now mm-hmm. more than before. Even those like affirmations, it's like cheesy to do. I, even when I go through in the morning, I'm like, damn, this is cheesy. But like I still do it. And I just think like so many people – a big part of the failure i know really smart people that are a lot smarter than me that just don't make any money because like it's it's that there's the limiting belief there's the there's the oh i can't do this i'm not good enough whereas like i know i'm probably not the smartest guy in the world but i mean i'm definitely one of the one of the smartest guys in the world but i know like i'm gonna do whatever it takes to make shit happen and so i think when you get that mentality and you also know that no matter what situation you get in you're gonna make it happen yeah i think when you have that deep internalized belief it's impossible to fail because like I know whatever situation I get into, if I'm down 50K tomorrow and I have to make it happen, I'll figure out a way to make it happen. I'll crowdfund, I'll, I'll, I'll reach out to people, I'll do whatever the hell I have to do. But you just got to have that, that's the personality trait of someone I think that like actually succeeds in entrepreneurship. And it's like the same commonality with all these people. A lot of these people in here are not like super smart. You can just tell by talking, no offense, but like, you can tell by talking to them. They're not like it's scholars. It's determination. Yeah, and they're not discipline. scholars, but they're smart in the way that they just don't give a damn about quote unquote, like they, they don't care about like the, intelligence with their words like they're, they're, that's yeah. not where their intelligence comes in but they take action relentlessly and they'll do whatever it takes and that's why they make a lot of money you know what i have on my whiteboard it's called the deep end effect where if you jump into the deep end you'll find a way to get to the top yeah the deep circle it's true yeah it's, it's yeah. true because that's i mean yeah that's like like the entrepreneurship professors like they study for so long to try to find the best you never you, they never jump in the deep but end if you just jump in and fucking do it. <laughs> you'll eventually find your way around it and then as long as you like understand how you got around that mm-hmm. you'll be able to apply that to almost anything exactly. in your life the skills you learn yeah you know, like but you have to do that you have to learn how to swim exactly. if you just like are like have floaties your whole life yeah. like you're you're never you're gonna cool. you're never gonna learn how to do it yeah so yeah that's what i always tell people just like do it and just you're gonna fail, but then you'll learn how to stop failing. Yeah, exactly. Because like human nature, you just Pretty, you yeah. can't. Well, I think it's also just accepting that like failure is part of the process, right? Like like that's the thing. Failure is not really failure. No. Unless, yeah. unless you because unless it's repeated. Like I look at like me and me and Aiden have made some bad mistakes with like we've been scammed in the past with stuff. Like we there's so many times where we've literally been drained. I mean, there's so many times where I've my bank account has gone from like five k to zero. And I'm like, I'm like nothing. So yeah. I could have quit. I'm like, oh, this is not for me. But the, I maybe it's like stubbornness to not quit. Maybe maybe the logical thing would would have been to quit. But the stubbornness to just keep going, we would have never built anything. Well, yeah, it's like if you looked at our our goals that like we wrote at the beginning of this year, I guarantee like what we're striving for now is a little bit different. Like it's always tweaked. And, so and, like, and truthfully, it's way bigger. I don't know if you've yeah, looked at it no, recently, definitely. but it's way bigger. But like oh, even yeah. like last year, like if you looked at last year, you know again goals completely different so it's like you're gonna go through and try different things within a business or try a different business model but it's better to do that and have to take a step back and restart or you know do this because you're gonna build skills along the way and you're gonna actually get experience because you know like you can like if you just dive in a pool you're gonna find your way out but if you you know fucking like watch swimming highlights and wear floaties or something like that, <laughs> you watch gonna, swimming like, highlights your whole life <laughs> <laughs> It's like if you just like study, like if I just like watched secret reselling videos all day long and never until, tried until I like felt like, oh, like it's not risky. I can do it. Like it's not risky. I feel like studying is almost worse, has yeah. a worse impact. Because yeah. like, you're never going to, you're never going to have enough information. Like at some point you have to, that's why school is so fucked because like they convince you that you have to just sit there and study all day to learn and you, you just regurgitate onto the test. But the reality is in the real, in the real world, it's never going to be perfect the first shot. You fail. You gotta I, learn I as you go. Though. I sucked at that. I tried SMMA. I didn't make any money. I tried a video production agency. I made. I actually made some decent money, but wasn't yeah. scalable. Then you went all in on stocks. Then I went all in on stocks, <laughs> and now I'm rich. And you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for. <laughs> okay, cool. I think we can. Yeah, honestly, this is a good. I think this is a good way to to wrap it up, guys. <laughs> if you watch this whole way through, like, I love you. Comment. Your favorite part of the video. Comment your favorite part of the video below, but also comment like Riz. So I know you watched the whole video all the way through. I'll, I'll subscribe back to whoever comments. Honestly, that. bro, anybody that watches this all the way through, <laughs> like, dumb. I'll give you guys a kiss. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, $5 sirenship credit.
five dollars there you go free shipping uh, i'll also i'll follow you back on instagram i don't know if that has any value he's, he's so uh, so uh, anyway i love you if you watch it all the way through click that like button subscribe if you guys like these podcasts we'll fly back out to watch every single week and we'll do more podcasts but if you guys don't like this how about every day <laughs> <laughs> just like move to new we just like did a 10 outside <laughs> live at <laughs> all right but yeah we're gonna wrap it up here love you guys peace out